All right, so today we're gonna discuss a couple of reasons why you shouldn't lower your car. I know, I know all the cool kids are doing it, and you're thinking, hey man, I can just go on eBay, oil a set of Racelands, fucking slam this bitch to the ground, it'll be lit. Well, you forget, you're lowering your car, there's gonna be problems. Now, I'm not just talking about why I don't have side skirts, you know, the molding bullshit, why, you know, I avoid certain driveways or certain parking lots altogether. I'm not talking about any of that. I'm talking about the fact that I have to... I gotta replace my fucking ball joints. Alright, they're right, right here. If you can see them, you know, put these in. I put new ones in maybe, I don't know, 10,000 miles ago, but just about a year ago, gotta put new ones in. So we're gonna we're gonna get to that and I'm gonna show you a couple other things while I'm down there. Alright, so you might be thinking, what's so bad about lowering your car? This is all from rubbing. Alright, I go into driveways at angles because I don't want to scrape. This is I can't I can't knock this back or anything. That's where my fucking fuse box is. Alright. This is just the frame right here. This was uh this is just from turning out full lock. Sometimes it would rub, sometimes it wouldn't. Same thing up here. And back here. Now I've changed my tire size up a little bit to avoid that, but it's just bullshit that you have to think about. Um, we'll get we'll get under and show you something else. All right. Now this is my header, and you know that's there's some scrapage. That's all scrape. That's just been fucking hit. Uh, oil pan luckily is still intact somehow. <laughs> This whole exhaust drags a lot, especially over like speed bumps and shit like that. Uh, just this whole support right here scraped all the way down. You know, even my, my toe hooks are bent to the side a little bit from getting fucking smacked on shit. It's just, it's not a good way to run your vehicle. Now is this car going to stop being lowered? No it isn't, but it's just some shit to think about. Because I drive a lowered vehicle, this shit is just the norm for me. Fucking just put this in not even 10,000 miles ago, less than a year ago. Already got to replace it. You can even feel which way it's worn out. It's, it's from just the bumpy ass suspension. It's, it's loose as fuck this way, loose as fuck that way, but not. It's Still got some resistance that way, you know. Anyway, this is just commonplace maintenance for me at this point. It's not even, you know, I do it every 50,000 or 100,000 miles. No, this is, this is to be expected. Nobody talks about it on lowered vehicles, on lifted trucks they talk about it. Oh, you're gonna have to replace ball joints all the time. No, it, same applies for lowered vehicles. <clears throat> just keep that in mind. All right. Got the control arm out, got the ball joint out. Now, yeah, whatever. This is what I'm talking about here. Hold on. God damn it. Uh, let me try and get that focus in. You see how it's kind of bowed out? That way to that way? That shit wore out like that in 10,000 miles. Alright. But that's just a day in the life for you, for you swag boys. So we'll get we'll get that new one in. This was really easy to pop out. I, you know, I got the cotter pit or the not the cotter in uh, the, the fucking the ring out and the lock ring and just hammered it a few taps and started budging and <laughs> simple as that. That's what I'm talking about. So I got I just put the ball joint back in uh, because my replacement ball joint doesn't press in. The uh, the diameter of the hole in the control arm, too big. <laughs> Fits in there snug, but it's not it's not tight by any means. Pull it out, it, it'll fall out just moving this thing around. And it's not, it needs more pressure than that. So, you're gonna, th that, those are just some of the problems. You're gonna have to fucking put it back together wrong and then order 
different control arms with that are better. So just you know, no life problem. All right. So in summary, what happened? Went to replace my bad ball joints, and because I'd already replaced the whole control arm with apparently an inferior product, it it wouldn't slip in properly. So now I got to order new control arms. Can't drive the thing until I, they come in the mail. 